What up, what up, youngin? It's your boy E, man. You already know what it is, man. If y'all new to my channel, man, I make videos on everything, man. Sometimes to product review, short films, comedy skits, if you name it. I make videos on whatever I'm feeling at that particular moment. So y'all already know what it is, man. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. If y'all ain't already subscribed, man, y'all just go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, man. And y'all don't forget to hit that bell icon, man, so y'all can stay updated every time I post new content, man. What's good, y'all? So we finally um already just started our dodge and burn process. Um, I've already went ahead and I've done some frequency separation um, for the skin. Um, so, and I've grouped them. So that's the before. And that's the after. So what we're going to do now is uh, dodging and burning. Um, so the first thing you want to do with dodge and burn is you want to go here and create a curves adjustment layer so the thing with dodging and burning um you just need to keep in mind is you dodge the highlights and you burn the shadows so that's what we're going to do and the reason why you want to dodge and burn is to pretty much bring emphasis to the face the same way makeup brings eff e emphasis to the face um, of women. And we're gonna do that with editing and in Photoshop. So now that we got our first curves adjustment layer, we're just gonna, now with this is kind of up to you, but I kind of like mine to just be right there. You can always go higher, it's up to you. Um, but just a good brightness to that right there. Should be good. And then you wanna hit Control I to invert that mask back. Cause the reason why we do that is so that way instead of applying that um, dodge layer to the whole face, it can apply to the specific spots that we want. And I'll call this dodge. And then we'll go and do the same thing as well. Curves adjustment layer. And then bring this down to what we need, um, I think right about that should be fine. And then we'll call, we'll invert the mask, control I or command I on the, on the Mac. And then we'll call this burn. Bring that up one more time. So with this, when I first started, it was a lot harder for me to learn um to see where i want to dodge and burn so what we're going to do as well is we're going to go to the curves adjustment layer we're going to hit black and white so what this black and white does it it helps you kind of see exactly where you want to dodge and burn and you'll see right here the reds yellows greens cyan's blue magenta so all we want to focus on at the moment it's just the reds and the yellows so right here we'll just kind of just take that down um to wherever it's kind of up to you because at the end of the day we're just gonna um delete this layer but for this we want to see where we want to dodge and burn um in terms of skin so so far that's looking good let's see um so that does not affect anything so we'll just We'll put that to uh, um, 50, just cause I think that's what it was. And then we'll kind of bring this down to 75. So what we want to do is we want to go to your brush uh, or just hit B on your keyboard and it should automatically highlight the brush for you um so kind of zoom in a little bit so for my brush i am going to see so there's a couple ways to do this um 
I'll show you guys the two ways. Well, actually, I'll show you one. But for this, I like to keep my flow very, very low. Um, I like to do mine at 2%. Um, you could always go to one as well, but that's kind of up to you. Um, blend mode, I just leave that as normal. And then we'll just, now if you want, you can just bump, give it a soft brush. Now we'll just bump, bump, bump that. We'll just increase the size of our brush like so. So remember, we want to dodge the highlights and burn the shadows. So you see right here? Um, actually, I'll show you guys so you guys can see that a little bit. Um, so boom. So let's go ahead and just go to the dodge lane and make sure your mask is on white because remember, black is to hide, white is to reveal. So, so we'll just go ahead and um, start the process. So. Just remember with this, you want to be as subtle as possible. So if I go, if I toggle this on and off, you guys can kind of see what difference it's made in terms of that. And if we turn up the black and um, white layer, and we kind of see what it's done in terms of that. Now, usually dodging and burning is mostly for the face, but I like to take this opportunity to use that to apply some highlights to the whole picture. I mean, of course, you want to focus on your dodging and burning first in the face, but you see the difference that that's created um, in terms of that. And then we don't want to forget the nose because that's also part of her face. So we'll just dab dab on them what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and burn as well so we're burning just the same principles um as well All right, guys, so we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. But for now, we're just burning the shadows. Um, so we're just going to um, do pretty much the same thing we just did. And then also, um, I would also recommend if you haven't learned or even seen my frequency separation tutorial to go check that out as well because that um accompanied with the dodging and burning can take your will take your portraits to the next level um and definitely took mine to the next level All right, so pretty much we're just almost there. We'll work on that. And then we'll go back here and make sure that we fade that really nicely. So that's pretty much it though. That's pretty much dodging and burning um, for me at least. Um, 
I'm sure there are several ways of doing this. There's several techniques. Um, if you guys like this technique, um, you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Help me grow so I can bring some more content like this for you guys. Um, if you guys have a different technique, different way you guys do yours, um, do not hesitate to let me know, man. Because I'm trying to learn new techniques. I'm always trying to get better. I'm always trying to grow. And I'm just trying to always learn. So if you guys have something or a different way that you do it, just let me know. Also, if you haven't followed um, me on Instagram or check me out on Facebook, it's just the same name, CEN Captures. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe to my channel so I can just grow. And let's continue to make content together. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all keep your head up. Y'all stay safe. Wash your hands. And please stay home, man. So hopefully this virus can pass us by and it can go out and create some more content. And just do what we love. Peace.